have a couple of warm tortillas in here and we're going to share them with a little bit of chocolate on top of it. So let's take this tortilla out. Here we have one tortilla, right? If I slice it like this, and then I slice it like, let's say something like, I'm trying to slice it in thirds. It's really hard to do exactly. So just bear with me. We're gonna pretend these are all, especially after this piece broke, equal thirds, right? That, that looks like it's good enough. Okay, we'll use this here. Boom. They got a little toasted, but that's okay. I'll eat this piece. It's good stuff. I like tortillas. Now, I cut this tortilla into three pieces. Those are thirds. Now, if I take a knife and I cover one piece of it with a little bit of chocolate spread, one, we would say that one third is covered in chocolate. Now, if I take another piece and I put chocolate on that one, we would now say that two thirds. Mm, that's good stuff. It's covered in chocolate. And then if I take the other one, I could now say that three thirds of the tortilla is covered in chocolate, correct? Well, let's add to this. So now I have three thirds of a tortilla covered in chocolate. How much tortilla is that? That is one whole tortilla. So we have the whole tortilla with chocolate on it. But I've got another tortilla here also. Let's move this out of the way. I'm gonna to try to cut it into thirds also. Remember, it's hard to do. So we're just gonna get it as close to exact as I can. And how's that looking in here? Does that look good? What do you think? Huh? Does it look about right? I think, there we go. I'm just gonna try, there we go. And take this one over here and cut it. That looks like it's about a third right there. Boom. Oops. I got a little crispy there in it. All right. Now I'm going to take this one. So now how many thirds do we have all together? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six thirds all together, and that is three tortillas. Three thirds of this tortilla are have chocolate, and three thirds of this tortilla do not. Cool, right? Now watch what's gonna happen. Now this is what we're looking at today. What happens when I have more than one whole tortilla with chocolate on it? Well, now I have one, two, three, four thirds covered in chocolate. So four thirds is more than just one. Let's cover another one. Now I have one, two, three, four, five thirds of a, tor a tortilla covered in chocolate. This, this is a third, 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 and this is a third. But only five of them have chocolate. One, two, three, four, five. That's more than one, isn't it? Because this is one tortilla and this is two more pieces. Now, if I take the last little bit of the chocolate, and I'm gonna put it onto this tortilla over here. Excuse me while I get this out of the way. 
All right, so. There we go. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six thirds of a tortilla. That's six thirds of a tortilla. How many tortillas is that? That's one whole tortilla, which is one, two, three, three thirds, and another whole tortilla, which is one, two, three, three thirds of a tortilla. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's look at this on the whiteboard. On a whiteboard, that's gonna look a little bit like this. Let's look at some cookies. Let's take five cookies. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So if we have five cookies total, those are fifths, right? One, two, three, four, five means that our denominator is going to be a five because we have each cookie is one fifth. Now, how many cookies are covered in chocolate? Well, let's see. So how many cookies are covered in chocolate? One, two, three. Three fifths are covered in chocolate. Now, how many are covered in chocolate? Five fifths. Five fifths are covered in chocolate. Now, turns out that these five cookies all came in one package. So, one package is five fifths. One package is five fifths. What if we have a second package of five cookies? So we draw cookies one, two, three, four, five. And all of those five cookies are in their package. And all of those cookies are also covered in chocolate. All right. Now, this is where we need to pay close attention. Each cookie is a fifth because one package contains five cookies. So there's five cookies in this package and there's five cookies in this package. So our denominator is going to be five because each package has five. But when we look at both packages, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cookies. We have ten fifths. Ten fifths. Now, isn't that more than just one package? How many packages is that? That is two packages. So two is the same as 10 fifths. Let's look at that on the worksheet. In the worksheet, it looks a little bit like this. Write a fraction to name the shaded part of each group. All right, so to write this fraction, first we count them all. We have one, two, three, four. Those are all the flowers. How many are shaded? One and two. So my answer is going to be two out of four, or two fourths are shaded. I'll let you figure out the one with the bananas. This one is much trickier. 
So let's look at it slowly and take our time. First of all, I'm going to get a highlighter because that helps me remember or look at what I'm trying to read. All right. Write a whole number and a fraction greater than one to name the part filled. Okay, so they're asking for a couple of things because it says and here. So they want that means they want two things. They want a whole number. So that's what I'm going to put in yellow. And they want a fraction greater than one. These are two things they want me to complete. So one I'm going to put over here and the other I'm going to put over here. So I think I'm going to put the blue one over here and I'm going to put the yellow one over here. Now I don't have to do this, but it makes it easier for me to know what I'm doing when I look at the boxes. I get confused easy. So let's see. A whole number. So I need a whole number, not a fraction. What does my clue here says? Say it says think one can equals one. I'm gonna get my pencil out. So if this can equals one and this can equals one, I have two cans. So my whole number is going to be two. Let's see if I got that right. Yes, it's green. I got that right. Good. Now they want a fraction greater than one. That's where that's what I'm going to put in this box. A fraction greater than one. So these are thirds. One, two, three. Because each can, one can is divided into three. So these are, I'm working with thirds here. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here so that I can remember it. Three but I have to go to the beginning because I'm still missing my numerator. My denominator is three, but my numerator is the one I don't know yet. Now numerator is all of them counted together. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six thirds and the number two are the same. I got that right because that turned green. I'm going to help you out with that second one because it is really tricky to look at and remember. So here's your clue. Think one pan equals one. So one pan is one and the other pan is also one. Then we want to figure out our denominator, which is how many is in this pan. And then we figure out our numerator, the top number, by counting all the muffins in both pans together. I'm pretty sure you can do it. Good luck. Let me know if you need my help.